Hey everyone, on my video about the Meshtastic radios that I did, a viewer asked if I could go through and make a tutorial on how to set those up. So here we are, uh, we're on Meshtastic.org right now, and what we want to look for is this beginner's guide right here. So this has a detailed walkthrough, and we're going to go ahead and open this up. Alright, and this is going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. So you're going to select your hardware. Um, they do have the T-Beam available, which has Meshtastic pre-installed, uh, but you will have to dis attach the display. Um, but soldering these on isn't that bad. Uh, if you don't go with this board, you have to update the firmware. So this is what I had to do because I ended up buying this TTGO LoRa 32. And these do not have GPS, but they do have the other texting functions. So on this screen, they show you, uh, make sure you select the right board frequency for your country. I live in the U.S., so I went with, went, went with 915 megahertz. If you live in a different country or area, you should follow this. Um, these are open bands to the public, so you are allowed to use this. It's FCC compliant and everything like that. Um, and then they do have a full list of lower frequencies per region right here, so you can click on that. Um, if you go with the T-Beam, you're going to need some 18650s. There's a battery holder on the back side of this. Uh, you just throw one of these in there and you're up and running. Uh, if you don't go with the T-Beam, you can either use these with an external uh, holder, or you can use what I did and buy the modem batteries, which have a built-in BMS, and that, that's the easiest way, I think. Step number three for the T-Beams is going to be attaching the display. They have a zoomed-in picture here showing you the, the 3v3, the ground, pin number 22 and 21. So there's some straight-through pins right here that you're going to solder, solder on here, and that'll be up and running. If you do not go with the T-Beam, if you go with like the LoRa 32, like what I have, the screen comes already pre-installed. If you want the GPS, this is really your only option. So install your app, and they got uh, links here. You can just go to Google Play and search Meshtastic, and it pops right up. Um, and then they have, for number five, connect your board. Now, this is assuming that you have Meshtastic pre-installed on your radio. If you don't, you want to scroll down here to update your firmware. And so you'll go through. Um, step number one is click here. So we'll open this up. And these are the latest releases. So this is 1.1.48, uh, which is the most recent release right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then you want to come down here to the zip folder, click on this to download it. I'm just going to throw it into music right now. So while that downloads, we can come back over here. Uh, they, step number two is going to be opening that firmware zip folder and uh, look for your supported board. But in the meantime, while this is downloading, we can download the latest ESP flasher. Now this is the program that is going to actually flash the board with the Meshtastic firmware. So we can go ahead and open this up as well. All right, and you want to select the correct uh, flasher for what you have. In this case, I'm going to use the X64. Click on that, and I'll throw that right there in the same folder. Hit save. So it'll download this. Now we can come back to this screen. So connect your radio to your PC via USB, which I have already done, uh, and then click Browse and select the firmware for your board from the package we just downloaded, which is this. So we can go ahead and open this up now. We'll hit Show in Folder, and we're going to extract all. All right, so let's open this up. So you can see there's a bunch of different firmware uh, versions available, and it's based on area, it's based on frequency, there's different types of boards in here. For what I'm doing, I want to come down here and choose the t Laura V1 US. Okay, so I know that now that that's the one that I'm going to be using. Alright, so it looks like ESP Home Flasher is done. Um, one thing you're going to want to do before you go any further is open devices and see which COM port your radio is on. So we're going to open this up. All right, so mine is on COM9. That's going to be important for the next step. All right, so now we can open up our folder that has the ESP flasher and double-click this to open it. 
So our serial port is the one we just looked for, COM9. Our firmware is our T-Laura V1 US. Oh, this is the wrong folder. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Let's go to music. Sorry about that. All right. This is a newer version, so I need to update this anyway. Um, T-Laura V1 US. So I'm going to select that and then just hit flash ESP. So this is going to go through connect, checking everything. It's going to upload this. Uh, it might take a while. <laughs> all right, so now it's going back through writing it all. Normally I'd speed this stuff up, but I figure I'll show you the whole process. All right, so it says 100%. Resetting, flashing is complete. Okay, so we should be good to go. So it's really that easy uh, to flash this, and then once you have all of your boards, you can just throw them in here, flash them, whatever, whatever board you have. So yeah, they make it pretty easy. It sounds scary at first, but just following this, and uh, boom, you're done. So let's hop over to the camera now and see if our device is working correctly. All right, so this is the radio that I just flashed. We're going to go ahead and plug this in and see what we get. Okay, so this is not working correctly, so I'm pretty sure this is V2, a V2 board, not a V1 board. So now i got to go back to the computer and reflash this with the V2 <laughs> and uh, see if this works. All right, so I am back on the computer to update this to the V2 because the V1 didn't work. Uh, <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but I guess it's better to show you the problems that can arise. So, all right, so we got the V2 right here. So we are gonna go ahead and select this one, actually. And this is the V2 US 1.1.48. So let's select this, flash ESP. We're gonna go through and do all of this again, which this time I am going to speed up. Okay, so. Now it says hard resetting done, flashing is complete. So now let's go back to the camera and see if it worked correctly this time. And we're back from our commercial breaks. Let's go ahead and plug this in. I guess it helps to turn it on. There's a switch right here. Let me just make sure that actually does what I think it does. Yeah, there's an on off switch, guys. I'm an idiot. All right, so you can see the red light on the back. It's flashing. Here's our little load screen. And we're up and running. It's that easy. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. I just hit stop recording, and the phone I'm recording on actually popped up with a screen asking for uh, the pairing code for this. It, it threw that code up there, and so I just paired it to the phone I'm using. So it'll reach out and look for anything with Bluetooth capability because I already had the app on this. Uh, if you already downloaded the app on your phone, it's going to do the same thing. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, a couple of other points that I want to hit on with these radios is that the messages that you send on this are encrypted. Uh, the GPS, the map on the app, will not work without an internet connection, so they download from the internet for your map tiles, so that won't work off-grid. Um, if you have a problem with the firmware, if you like what I did with the V1 and V2, just try the uh, other firmware and depending, I'm pretty sure the V2s have the USB port on top like this and the V1s have the USB port ugh, coming out of the side like this. So V2, V1. So just for reference, if you decide to buy some of these, if you're having problems with anything, uh, ask in the comments section down below because I may not know and I probably don't because I'm certainly not an expert on this. I'm figuring it out as I go. But there are some really smart people that watch these videos and they tend to comment and, and be helpful. If that doesn't work, uh, you can go on to meshtastic.org and they have a forum on there that you can join and those guys are super happy to help. I got on there, asked some extremely simple uh, noob questions and they didn't berate me. <laughs> they were very helpful, so that was nice. Um, and it, that's actually a good way for you to keep up on upcoming things. Uh, uh, upcoming updates, upcoming updates 
for the project. There's a lot of guys trying out different antennas and uh, reporting back their results there. Uh, lots of people getting miles and miles of, of range out of these radios, so it's really cool to just check out different things that people are trying out. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, like I said, ask down below or hop on the forum, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, what else was there? Uh, new. Uh, if I remember correctly, so that's kind of cool. So if you, this is the kind of thing that a kind of, uh, I think you'll be happy you did. Sounds really dumb.